The Holocaust Museum has a new traveling exhibit, and with us today is Patrice Ben Simon with the Holocaust Museum to tell us all about it. Thank you so much for being with us here on ABC7 at noon. It's my pleasure. So tell us all about the exhibit. Yesterday we opened this uh, new exhibition in the um, El Paso Holocaust Museum, and uh, the exhibition is about a very unknown page of the Holocaust history. It's about the mass shootings that occurred outside the death camps. So hopefully we all know about the death camps, the deportation of Jews, uh, the gas chamber. But unfortunately, uh, there is thousands of mass shootings perpetrated by the killers, by the Nazi and their collaborator, outside the death camp on the whole continent in Eastern Europe. So uh, from Serbia to Russia, Ukraine, Moldova, Poland. And uh, the exhibition presents uh, the criminal process uh, of these mass killings. Um, we identified five steps for the crime, uh, the arrestation of the Jewish victims, the road, um, the undressing of the victims, the shooting, and the looting. So um, the exhibition in English and Spanish, which is really mean for meaningful for us because we want to uh, reach the Spanish-speaking uh, community and public. And um, I think that what is also important for us is that many schools and many teachers will come with their uh, students in El Paso Holocaust Museum to uh, visit this exhibition and to teach um, how much this violence uh, against the Jewish victims okay. impact mm -hmm. the whole society because the exhibition is based on uh, witnesses, uh, tes testimonies of witnesses we interview our organization uh, called Yahad Inunum, it's a French organization. And so we interviewed uh, this witness who uh, witnessed the mass killing of their neighbors uh, in, every, in many, many villages in Eastern Europe. And the idea, when, when you read the, the testimonies of the witnesses, you understand the trauma and the impact of the whole society. And I think uh, this criminal process, the pattern of Holocaust by bullets, this this part of Holocaust history that is not unknown, has very much common points with the mass killings that's still happening in our world. Uh, look at what is happening in Middle, Middle East uh, with ISIS killings uh, in Rwanda, Cambodia, in Guatemala, and uh, even everyday shooting in, in Mexico, for instance, right. in public. So definitely a very new learning experience for those who, who will go to, to the Holocaust yeah. Museum in the next few weeks. Um, the new ex uh, exhibition is now at the Holocaust Museum through May 31st. You can stop by at 715 North Oregon Street. And also it includes some 3D pictures that people can... Yes. can it, it just adds more to, to the yeah. learning experience. Yes, you know, the, in the exhibition we have pictures of the witnesses, but also archival pictures of the killing itself. And the idea of the exhibition we wanted with our organization is also to make the visitor to become a witness himself. And so you will have beautiful pictures of witnesses, but if you get closer, you will see, uh, see small windows, mm -hmm. and through the windows you will see the actual crimes. So if you want to know the truth, you have to face the truth right. in order to avoid any other genocide or mass violences. Right. Patrice, thank you so much for being with That's us here pleasure. on ABC7 at noon. Thank and you. we're back after the break with all your top headlines.